Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to head down Route 8. Uh, I think there's lots of cool Pokemon to catch on this route. Now, obviously, we only get to catch one, but I am hopeful that it's going to be something pretty cool. Hopefully, it's going to be something pretty cool. We're going to make it through the rest of this cave, which I think is like another 10 feet or something. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, let's see, though. Let me give you a quick update on the team since last we spoke. Um, so, the big update is that Chloeo is, uh, was not too pleased with our benching of uh, dear old Tarth. Um, did not like that at all. Didn't real. I mean, I knew Tarth was a big, like... Bit, like, she really was drawn to Chloeo. I didn't realize how strong the friendship was in both directions. And I think from Chloeo's point of view, uh, maybe we should have benched Mats instead. Uh, but we didn't. And so uh, uh, the thing is that not only... I think Mats is taking the brunt of the aggression. But see, it's leaking over to Fatterhorn because Fatterhorn and Mats are such fast friends. I mean, it they I mean, it, it's so funny. They have uh the, I guess because Mats is like, you know, our shielder, our reflector, light screener. He's like casting Mats whereas Fatterhorn is more of like just the natural bulk. They're like they're like the shields of the team and they both take it very like they're proud to be the defenders, if you will. You know what I mean? Um, I, it, it's fun how good of friends they are. It, it, like, Matt's will sit on his head like a little ladybug hat. We call it the, um, Fats Matt Hat. That's what it is. Fats Matt Hat. It's hilarious. Um, it's very fun. It's very fun. Uh, it's, but, but, uh, naturally then, it's making Chloe just feel very, very alienated because everyone seems to like Fatterhorn. He's such, like, an, a massive impact on the team, literally. Um, and then, uh, I would say, maybe Goyrin is the exception. No one can figure out Goyrin. He just, she just stands there. No blinks. It's creeping the team out. And I think they could get over it if Goyrin was, like, knocking stuff out in battle. But, you know, it's, it, what, whatever. It's, we're gonna get there. What is happening? Did I run into something without moving? It's a Zubat! Oh. At least we didn't run into Zubat. I mean, we've done well with Crobats in the past, but, like, what's what's less exciting than a Zubat? Here we go. Oh, what do we got here? Do I have to go around? Can I fight you? You want to fight? If you want to go to Embret Town, you'll be best to head back to Route 7. Then take the other entrance to the cave. The other entrance to the cave. All right. God, what a fun detour this was. Didn't even get guards. Is this going to be a new... This is called Connecting Cave. Okay. So then I guess they're just telling us to go over here. Ra, ra, ra. You know what? I am going to teach Cut to Goyrin. It's happening. Here we go. Because I, I mostly because I feel like perhaps Goyrin might not be long for the team. I can't. I mean, who knows? We, did, we thought that about Mats and look where we are now. Yes, we're going to replace a move with Cut. I want to be able to use Cut, though. It is often... Uh, what does this even do? Cuff it? Does this do damage? It does do damage. Scratch. We're going to get rid of Scratch. Duh. Forget. Gone. Cut's better than the Scratch anyway, right? There we go. All right. Thank you, Goyrin. Cut down this tree, if you will, please. Yes, I would. Fuzza! Cut. Slash. There we go. What's over here? Please be something awesome. Like a really good TM. Oh, it's silver powder. Oh, actually, okay, that's not... I think that ups the power of bug moves. And I feel like Matt's, I think, gets silver wind at level 20. So that'll be good. That could be good. Let's go in here. Is this still connecting cave? Okay, it is. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Zubat Roost. Can, oh, do you, can we fight you? You fight? How about if I help you? Oh, you rest them up? Thank you. That's awesome. I like that. I like free heals. What an easy cave. What all those puzzles. Guys, remember all those puzzles from Connecting Cave? Route 8. That means we can catch something new. St oh, God. What is this? What is... Why? What? Who is it? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be something threatening. It's just these two bozos. <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Snorlax doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly... Uh, no. I was not wondering that at all. I don't feel like they need to be updated. 
I feel like the whole Pokedex should just be one Pokedex that has everything from the beginning. How stupid is I don't get it. What is the point of you guys? Ugh. Things are dumb sometimes, y'all. Things are dumb. Why'd I come over here? This was silly. I don't know. There's some grass right there. There's some grass. Is there I feel like there's better grass. We don't want first grass. We want at least second grass. That's, ooh, ooh, item, item, item. Aha, second grass, okay. Oh, that looks like an ace trainer. Okay, what are we gonna catch? Whew, please be, oh man, I'm excited. I feel like there's cool stuff in this grass. Hopefully we run into something cool and not something not cool. That's generally what my hopes are. What is it? Oh, it's a horde. I think it's a horde. Uh-oh. What do we got? What do we get? It's a horde. Oh, it's a freaking Talos. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Okay. That's so lame. This is not something cool. This is not something cool. This is about as dumb. Oh, and it's a freaking horde. It's so annoying. <laughs> Now I have to fight all of these to catch a single one and we should catch it because why do we get so many birds all of the birds? All right Fatterhorn you got this just chip away. At We're gonna literally chip away at them. Oh good more crits remember who did that? Oh two of them did it. Okay, not that I'm super worried or anything. Oh Good growl at us great great. They've all got critical hits. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, you're dead. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is gonna take forever. I would normally not do this. I can't believe. The way horde battles work, in case you're wondering, for the Nuzlocke, um, we can just choose any of them. This, All of these counters are simultaneous encounter. Um, occasionally, horde battles will have different types of Pokemon. You can like run into more than one at once, and um, in those situations, you would just catch whichever one you wanted. You just have to make sure you caught it. I think in this particular patch of grass, there's, um, depending on the version, you'll either get like four Savipers and a Zangoose, or four Zangooses and a Saviper. And it'll be tricky if you want the lone one because the other four will attack the one thing because Pokemon thinks that this rivalry is hilarious. And they love to remind you that it exists. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to know which of the opponents is, like, the best in a horde battle. I do not know. I bet there is a way, but I don't know it. So we're just going to sort of chip away at them until one's left, and that'll be the one we catch. Good job, Fatterhorn. I know this is a boring fight. I guess we're going to catch the middle one. It seems like the middle one would be the leader, if you ask me. So that's the one we want. Not that I really want one of these at all. You what you lived? Maybe we want that one. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I can't how did that happen? Or do we just have so many growls on us now that we don't have enough? If this thing lives. Okay. There we go. You've uh you won your spot on the team, I guess, and you're gonna be super easy to catch. I'm just gonna use a regular Pokeball on you. There we go. Use you're gonna get caught. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got it. All right, let's find a name for our new friend. What's it gonna be? Van Busk. This is after Sarah Van Buskirk from the comments. Thank you for watching. Van Busk, you're going to the box. Enjoy your time in there, Ms. Taylor. Van Busk. It's a funny name, though. I like that name. That's not terrible. Go then, Busk. My stylus won't go back in. There it is. Fun. Okay, we got it. We figured it out. All right. Well, sadly, there's, I mean, there's like Absols in this grass. There's Bagons in this grass. We could have had two dragons on the team by now if we were super duper lucky, which obviously we're not. This guy looks like an ace trainer down here, so probably pretty good. So probably we're going to have a fun fight. Hopefully this isn't too dangerous. So oh, here we go. Dream big is what I say. You're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on. All right. Bring it on, dude. You want to bring it on? Consider it brought. Rising star. Okay. Ooh, Axew. See? See what I mean? She found an Axew. Why couldn't we? Oh, Haxorus would have been amazing. I guess they make dragons a little more available in this game because their fairy type is now around. Um... Not too worried about you, though, frankly. Chip away. Dragon Rage. Oh, goodness. Not good. Not good at all. Please just kill it. Oh! Oh, it's not good. Oh, you have Dragon Rage. Mm. 
Okay, okay. Who do we have? Who can go? Who can take the Dragon Rage? Anyone can take the Dragon Rage. <sighs> oh, this is bad. Okay, we're, how about we just do this instead? How about we just go... And he went first. Uh, I don't like it. 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 If he does Dragon Rage again, this is just going to be like a battle of gaining 10 health. Oh, assurance. Uh oh, as long as we stay above 40. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. God, although I was afraid we were going to have to just sit here and be like. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Dual chat going to be super effective, but. Oh my gosh. Ugh. If only we caught ourselves an Axio, am I right? Or we killed it, but my goodness. Well done, Fatterhorn. Well done. Well done. Rising Star Paulette. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Not a bad fight. Good good show. Good show indeed. Alright. Well, I didn't like that one bit. I do not like it when things manage to do good solid damage to Fatterhorn. That scares me. Um... Yeah, no good whatsoever. Gotta remember that if we run into more dragons, that they might have dragon rage. If this is a bag on, so help me. It's a spoink. Okay. Okay. No bigs. We're just gonna not even worry about it. I mean, we may as well, but... Oh, we're so slow. Oh, we're so slow. Go, Fatterhorn. But... Oh, how did you not kill it? How did you not kill it? Ah! You're killing me. You're killing me, dude. All right. Chip away at it. Good dead. There it is. Tiny bit of EXP. Well done. Oh, Fat's Mad Hat. Mm. There's the Absol. Oh. oh, it hurts, you guys. How badly did I want the Absol? The answer is so badly. I wanted the Absol so badly. Do you remember our last one? Ah, uh, they died so heroically. Anyway, should we even fight it? It feels like dangerous to fight. Now I don't even think we should. We should just, just run, it's fine. You couldn't get away, great, cool, fun. All right, we're gonna fight it. It's going down. Bring it on, dude. Ship away. You got nothing. I wish we could have caught you, but it's okay. We did get a Talo, so, you know, it's the same. It's not the same. You're dead. Kadoomed. Yeah. All right, at least we got a level out of it. Thank you, Absol. I will take the level. Go Fatterhorn. Level 18. Can we get out of the single patch of grass? Police. All right, we made it. I don't even want to fight anything now. Oh, it's another rising star. Uh, let's see. Who should we lead with here? Let's send out. Let's send out the axe. Let's give him. Let's give Axe a little uh, little throw down here. You know why not? Loosen him up some. According to my predictions, this victory is as good as mine. Now, put, now to put them to the test. Your predictions? But well, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm gonna send out. Rising star, rise, pan cham. Oh, oh, so scared. I'm not scared. We got this. We got this. Mold break. I don't know what mold breaker does. It's always like, it breaks the mold. Uh, okay, whatever that means. Water pulse. Take the max. Destroy that pan champ. Oh, we confused it. Good, maybe it'll hit itself. Do it, do it. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes, you did. Oh, <laughs> and it died. Wow, strong attack on that thing. Hmm, hmm, okay, okay. Scubber. Oh, now we should switch. Yes, indeed, we should switch. Pokemon, let's let Chloe vent some rage, huh? Over her lost friend. Not lost, I mean, just boxed friend, really. That's where it's at. We have one of these. We have a Go-Goat. His name is Juge. <laughs> He's in the box. There you go. Uh, Ember! Man, I cannot wait for Chloe to evolve someday. That's going to be amazing. We're going to have a fully grown lion on the team. That's going to be the best. The best! Uh, Emba. The pacing in this game, to me, is so weird. Like, we're on episode... I think in episode 3, 
we got our first gym. We're not, I don't even think we're even close to the second gym yet. We have like errands to run before we get there. And now we're just gonna switch out to halt here because we're not gonna risk damage on anything. But then I bet you at some point in the future, there's like four episodes in a row where it's just like, hey, it's another gym fight. Oh my God, what is with you? Why must you be so annoying with your supersonics? The computer never misses supersonic, by the way. If I were using supersonic, I would miss it all the time. I mean, fortunately, my team is so well trained that the uh, the mere thought of even confusing them is laughable. But it's annoying all the same that I have to worry about it at all. Well done, Halt. Halt goes there. Huh, that certainly didn't go as my predictions planned. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've just had a terrible weird thought. Um, those fly this game has these like flying battles where you're forced to fight with just flying just the flying Pokemon on your team. And not for nothing, but I'm pretty sure that would put Mats in a fight all his lonesome. We should get Matt some experience. We had to very least have to get Matt's to the point where he has silver wind before that happens because at this point it's looking pretty dangerous because Matt's is a bug type and uh, flying types are good against bug types so that's bad math for Matt's I don't like it um, here we go let's go down here Ooh, you look like you want to fight don't you mama chop and I walk these mountain paths on our bare feet think you can take us on well I mean we'll see I'll say. Okay. This would be great if we had a flying type move. That's what Matt's really needs is a flying type move, which we don't have. Oh, should we use the reflect or should we just go for a straight up switch? Let's reflect and then switch. Let's give Matt's. Yeah, there we go. So we should be good. He's definitely going to have physical type attacks, right? Karate chop. He's going to do nothing. Yeah, so I thought. Man, I mean, how much. Should we see? How much does this do? Oh, nothing. Also nothing. Wow. Hilariously bad. Okay, Matt. So we're going to switch you out real quick. Okay. <laughs> good fight. Good fight. Good, sh good show. Let's go to Goyrin. Uh, not that we have the reflect up. This should be... We should be pretty safe. But for whatever he throws up. And then when he's hit it with confusion, that should be that. Boink. Yeah. Thank you for the reflect, very good. Also, we resist, it looks like. And confusion, there we go. Goyrin coming through, gonna take down a level 20 opponent, maybe. Used foresight, okay. I don't know what that does. I feel like nothing was identified, here we go. It, it, did, does foresight do anything except let normal type attacks hit, or fighting type attacks hit ghost type Pokemon? Mm-hmm, yep, really good fight, really good fight. Teams reflect war off, not gonna matter. Just gonna hit this thing with a confusion and it's dead. Yeah, there you go. You got nothing, friend. Yeah, hold on. Here we go. Yay, Goran got a level. And Matt's? And Matt's got a level? Psybeam! Oh, here we go. Yeah, forget it, move. So Psybeam is straight up 65 100 and confusion is just 50 100. Yes, yeah, so. Confusion. Forget. Yeah, get out of here. All right, now we're talking. It's just straight up better. There you go. Go over and learn Psy Beam. Take that, Black Belt Kadok. Boy, look at that. Well done, Goyer. Just as just as I'm considering losing you. I mean, you might have you might have been on the chopping block had we caught a bag on or an Absol or something, but alas, we did not. And now you just proved yourself. Let's see. Oh gosh, get out of this grass. Uh, let's see. Over there, I want to say, is one of those flying people. Which we have to be very careful of. We do not want to get in a fight with them. As we just saw, we could, I do not think, win at the moment. Maybe we should... Let's see, what does Matt's have at the moment? I'm getting very nervous about it because I don't want Matt's to die. 
Light screen, mock punch, thief. Thief to 60. Mm, you do 40. Yeah, so thief is a little better. I guess, okay. I was going to say, maybe we should give him infestation just as like a bug type move, right? Just so we have something uh, that might be. But I don't even. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Maybe not. I mean, we'll continue to do damage as well. That's something. Uh, that's very. I don't know, that's, hey, I'm Brett Town. Here we go. Oh, you're going to fight me? Do not you dare. I do not want to fight you right now. No. I, uh, okay. Oh, my God. Wine gums. Don't scare me like that. My goodness. Wine gums. All right, let's heal. Yeah, let's do this. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum. There we go. All right. Boy, I forgot about those flying type battles. Those are a real thing that we are going to have to be worried about. They're quite rare, but not as really as right. route, route 10 here in Kalos. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means. You have something for me? What do you think or dream? You dream about Pokemon fossils, bro? All right, let's explore this town a little bit. I think we have some time here. Uh, what do you want? Yo! You want to trade a Pokeball for my dive ball? Yes! Cool. Okay, that's fun, I guess. Oh, you do it again tomorrow? That's cool. We can get more dive balls, I guess. Right, whatever. It's fine with me. Do you have free stuff? you have Pokemon? Uh, no. I don't have a Pokemon that fast just yet. Nope. Okay. Hey, guys, give me stuff. Give me stuff. Okay. Anyway. You're all... Oh, I don't want to sit at that table. Boosh. Well, well, I think there's an aquarium over here, right? Or is this, what's in here? Oh, we can go in. Ambrat Aquarium. Okay. I feel, I think there is an item you can get here from one of these guys. Oh, maybe it's just you get the, the, the old rod. Okay, cool. That's good to have, I suppose. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. Oh, I guess we already caught something on Route 8. So, even though there's, like, way different Pokemon... Okay, that's a good question. We're not going to go down that beach section of Route 8 for a while. But we're on, like, the mountain side. And now we're going to go to, like, the beach side eventually. I can understand counting that as its own route or counting it as not a route. Um, both seem totally acceptable to me under different arguments. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Fossils! Hey, this is what we wanted, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Genesect. Ooh, that'd be a fun Pokemon to have. And here we are. What's up, Wine Gums? Wait for me! Wait for me! No, sorry, that was Cauliflower's voice. Oh, man, could they have made the scientists look more nerdy? Hey, welcome, future archaeologist. Yeah, you would drive by the mystique fossil, no doubt. Now, my name is Winegums, and this is Jonathan. We're researching mega evolution, and we were wondering. I'm trying to become champion, actually. Please don't speak for me, Winegums. Thanks. Oh, I'm, uh, you're Professor Sick of my students. I hate about you. I'm mega evolution. Champs. I'm sorry, but I know it has to be something to do with mysterious stones. Uh, still, your students, the professor, you still might know about Pokemon fossils. Yes, I do. Oh, wonderful. I expect nothing less. That's right. Fossils is a legacy. Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Glittering Cave. All right. Let's go to Glittering Cave. What should I do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should go talk to the center. Are you going to Glittering Cave, Big J? That's right. See you later. Bye forever. Mm. Okay. So, are we healed? Right. We're good. We're going to move. Um, let's move Halt to the front here. Halt the Pokemon Catcher, as he's uh, quickly becoming known. Let's see, let's see. Oh, hi, what do you want? You're going to give me something? Oh, they're talking about my mom, Grace, the famous Rhyhorn. Oh, Rocky Helmet. <gasps> yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Who are we going to give the Rocky Helmet to? I feel... Oh, man. We could... What a fun item. Hold on, let's see. The Rocky Helmet does damage when they're hit with direct contact so oh boy this feels like a fun one for halt 
or for Fatterhorn. Halt because he already has like the leech seed and the poison. So this is just like he does all sorts of weird chip damage then. And Halt or and uh, Fatterhorn just because he already likes wearing hats, as we know, because of the Matt's fat or Fat's Matt hat. And because he can take a lot of hits at the Rocky Helmet Control. I'm gonna give it to the moment to halt. Oh, poison barb. Hmm. No, he's already got a pretty good item, so let's just give it to let's give it to Fatterhorn for the moment. There we go. Okay. And we'll give silver powder to Matt's whenever we get there. And we get a bug type attack. Yes, alright. Oh, he likes hats. Route 9! Alright, here we go. We're gonna try and catch another Pokemon real quick, and I think I just want to try and catch something, and then we'll probably call it a day from there. But you can catch some stuff on you can catch some pretty cool stuff on this route, I will say. Let's see what we catch. What's it gonna be? This is our first encounter for Route 9. What is it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh yes, look at this, we have Hippopotas. Ooh, talking about chip damage, here we go. All right, all right, Hippopotas is awesome. Uh, let's do Leech Seed. Right out of the gate, here we go. Oh man, I am excited about this. Is it uh, is it the male or the female one? Because they're, they're <gasps> buffered by the sands. Oh boy, okay, good thing we got this uh, Leech Seed going. Oh, goodness. So the thing about Hippopotas, though, mm, is the sandstorm. That's the thing. Oh, okay, okay, it's the male one. The female one is cooler as an adult, for sure. I don't want a razor leaf because I feel like that'll straight up kill it, but we can just sleep powder it. Let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Hippopotas fell asleep! Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we get the leech seed damage, and he's asleep. So there's that. Good, 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 good. Heal up. Very nice. And then I wonder if we... I doubt we can just straight up catch him at this moment, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a huck because you never know. We might get lucky. He's asleep. He's rooted to the spot by those leech seeds. Oh, could it be? We got him! Look at that! I didn't, I really didn't think that was gonna work, but we got him! Hippopotas! Oh, ho, 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 yes. Dude, I really like Hippopotas. I, uh, I remember it, I had one in my first Pearl playthrough. Very fun Pokemon. Very fun Pokemon. The obvious problem is that whenever you send it out, that Sandstorm starts, and then that'll chip the dam- that'll do chip damage to your team as well, so we don't want to have to be- necessarily dealing with that at all times but at the same time is hippopotas better than goyrin that's the that's the question we got to deal with here we need a good name first let's see gaspar welcome gaspar the hippopotas to the box there we go that is named after gaspar laborde from the comments thank you for your comments good sir gaspar sent to the box okay man oh man that is exciting so uh there you go our i think this is where we're going to call it for today's episode we've been going for a little bit of a while now we made it down another route we caught a couple new pokemon the question is do we bring on Hippopotas. So I think it's rock, steel, and ground types that are unaffected by the sandstorm, which means literally anytime we fought with Hippopotas, if we switch, the sandstorm will continue to damage other members of the team. But it's just chip damage, and the opponent is likely getting chipped as well. So there is that. There are pros and cons to it. Uh, man. I'm interested to see what you guys say. Um, anyway, and if so, who would leave? Uh, it seems to me the obvious choices would be Goy. I mean, mm, Goyrin or Mats, maybe. As, uh, as uh, I mean, I would hate to take Mats away from Fatterhorn right now. I mean, we I, we just gave him a different hat, but I feel like Mats can still make it work. Mm, they're such they're such good buds. Uh, it's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. 
It's pretty strong though. Anyway, let me know in the towel section down below uh, what you think we should do. Also, uh, thank you for liking this video and subscribing to the channel and just being a general part of the community. I have so much fun making these videos and oh uh, gosh, I don't know what to do now. Should we bring on Gaspar? Ah, uh, uh, the sandstorm. If it weren't for sandstorm, I feel like it'd be a no-brainer, but there is sandstorm, which makes it a brainer. Anyway, that's all we got time for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Until next time, bye.